If you don't have a person to talk to, if you feel that you've completely blown out your war market, it's gone. History you can put, right? You got to find people to chat with. You got to find people to chat with. We're going to talk about that right now. Hey, all right, Jeffy Zell here. Uh, wanted to go over with you an absolute textbook, textbook chat I had with somebody this morning. I mean, it couldn't have gone any better. Let me first tell you this. Anybody who knows me uh, knows that I have more than one stream of income, period, end of story, you gotta have it. Worked the corporate world for a really long time and it just didn't pan out. You couldn't get the retirements that you wanted to. You couldn't uh, stay as long as you had hoped you would. And when the corporate world is done with you, they, they'll they spit you out. Nothing wrong with the corporate world. Love it. I think it's a great place. Um, you meet a lot of people and you can talk to a lot of people. Um, so corporate world, great. Love it. But it just wasn't for me. I'm too, I don't know, too free spirited. I'm the kid. When I was a little kid, I would be the one who would be knocking on people's doors, asking them, can I shovel their snow for some money? Can I wash your windows for some extra money? I'll go out and pick up groceries for you for money. I was, I was that kid. Always looking for ways to go out and, and increase cash in my pocket. So I was never, I guess, in that point, worried about work in the cold market and that was as a kid you're a cold market worker for sure because you didn't know your neighbors and when I was a kid granted it was totally safe to do that or at least it seemed it was so entrepreneurial minded big time okay uh, one of the things I do I'm a magician I've entertained all over the world uh, been pretty good at what I do enjoy that a lot headline cruise ships uh, a place called the magic castle in Hollywood have you ever heard of it great great place corporate shows private parties things like that fun good good just clean a lot of fun um oh uh see a little sticker in the back window there started recently driving for uber when i'm in town and i'm not doing either shows or i'm not doing any movie stuff i'm driving for uber because i get to meet freaking people i like to talk to people and i've been trying to figure a way to uh how do you say it? Safely chat with the people so you don't come off as just, hey, I'm picking you up. Let's talk about network marketing. And I want to I want to sit you in and give you a, a, a square napkin presentation and just circle, circle, circle. I don't want to come off cross that way. I don't think that I would. But when you hop into a car with somebody, you probably just expect that you're just going for your ride. Boom. And the timing of the conversation is totally key, totally key when you're when you're working with somebody you're giving a ride to and how the flow of the conversation goes. So here's how uh, it went it totally, like I said, textbook this morning, textbook, textbook, textbook. Talking to the lady and uh, just standard conversation. How are you? Great. You know, and they'll be like, oh, how long have you been doing this? And I was like, just a few days now, just checking it out. And kind of cool like the concept I've ridden in Ubers so I thought it was really neat but uh, decided to drive for them for my own personal reasons obviously to meet people uh, completely cold market this way and you, you should have zero fear because number one you don't know the person so if they turn you down so what then they're gonna be out of your car in just a few minutes anyway so and if they do like what you got to offer at least you're going to get their true contact information email phone number address whatever it'll be to send them what you have or to chat with them again later super super easy talking to the lady this morning and it just flowed and i wanted to share with you how the conversation kind of went uh we're just chatting talking about where she's working how she's doing uh, she's talking about how she likes to go out walking. Uh, you can find out so much information about people. They'll volunteer it early in the morning, middle of the day, late in the evening, doesn't matter. Just, I've not had one bad person in my vehicle, didn't see me yet, that I haven't been able to talk to a little bit and try to um, 
get a feel for them, see who they are or what they've got going on, how they like their work. So you're kind of, uh, you're feeling them out a little bit. Talked to her about a few things and then got to her, her employment. And although she likes her job, she says that she wants to go to school to learn marketing. And I says, have you ever heard of network marketing? And she says, I have, as a matter of fact. And uh, she goes, I want to go to school for that. And when she said uh, she told me she wants to go to school for that, I asked her, I go, you want to go to school for network marketing? She said, yeah, because, you know, it looks, sounds really intriguing, the, the, the way it works out. And she goes, and I figure if I go to school for marketing classes, I could learn how to do it. So at that point, I, I think she didn't get really about network marketing but she may have a little inkling maybe because she works at a company that does shipping for network marketing and then she works like in their shipping department so um i just asked her flat out and this is verbatim because she showed an inkling of an interest number one number two she seemed like somebody that I wouldn't mind working with. And because you get to choose who you work with, I, I, I just, I offered up the questions. And here's how the question went. And it was, again, super simple, really straightforward. And if you, if you ask it and you're sincere and you put it out there, you're going to get something back, whether it's yes, no, maybe. But nine times out of ten, if you've gone through your conversation the way you should have, it's going to be a yes. Yes, I want to check out your information. So the question is just like this. So let me ask you this. Are you open to taking a peek at something that could earn you some extra income on the side of what you currently do if it didn't interfere with what you're currently doing? And then I shut up. And inevitably, and I'd say eight time, nine times out of ten, they'll say yes. Or they'll say, what is it? Um... And either way, no matter what their response is, I'll say, let me get your information. We're only about a few miles away from your stop. I'm sorry, like a half mile away from your stop. And I'll send you for some information later. So when we stopped, I got her name, her address. I'm sorry, her name, her email address, and her phone number. I said, I'm going to send you some information later. If I send you a video this evening, will you be able to watch it? She said, yes. I said, great. Then I'll follow up with you this evening exactly uh I'm sorry, I didn't say exactly. I'll follow up with you this evening uh, after you've watched it, basically. Or I'll follow up to see if, you have had, uh, if you've had a chance to watch it. So we'll see how this goes. And uh, the real key is to never get attached to the outcome. If she says no, who cares? I'm not worried about the no. I'm not worried about the yes. If the yes happens, that's great. We'll go to the next step. If it's a no, no problem. Thanks for taking a look. Really appreciate you. Really appreciate your time. If you ever decide you want to try something in the future, you have my information. Let's connect again later. Um, you don't have to go and dive in. Oh, but earlier you said yes, and you seem so interested. What happened from then there? You don't have to dive into all that. There's no reason to really, to, you know, that, that, that feels too convincing to me. You don't have to do all that convincing. You just have to have a little bit of fun with what you're currently doing. Ask the qualifying questions and send them the information. Do those little steps right there and things will happen for you. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. Hope this really helped you guys. Again, Jeffy Zell here. If you like the video, please like, share, comment, uh, smoke signals, uh, sky writing, whatever you like. Let people know. Share it with your teams. Tell a friend. Uh, phone a friend. I don't know. Is that your final answer? Whatever you like to say. Here it is. Okay. Cool. Great. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk later. Bye now.